Eric, a cloud support engineer here at AWS office in Sydney. Today, I'm going to show you how to configure Amazon Simple Storage Service, even notifications, for an encrypted Amazon Simple Queue service, Q, that uses server-side encryption with an AWS Key Management Service Key. Let's get started. First, create a customer managed AWS KMS key and configure the key policy to allow the Amazon S3 service principle to work with encrypted queues. After you sign into the AWS Management Console, navigate to the AWS KMS Console. In the navigation pane, choose Customer Managed Keys. Choose Create Key. Choose Symmetric for the key type and Encrypt and Decrypt for the key usage. Choose Next. On the next page, enter an alias for the KMS key. Choose Next. Choose Next twice to skip the next two pages. Choose Edit to modify the key policy. Replace the default policy with a policy that allows the Amazon S3 service principle to use the generate data key and decrypt operations on the KMS key, and grants full access to the root user of your AWS account. Choose Next. Finally, choose Finish to create the KMS key. Next, we must create an Amazon SQS queue that's configured for server-side encryption with the KMS key. After you sign into the AWS Management Console, navigate to the Amazon SQS Console. Choose Create Queue. Enter a name for your SQS queue. In the Encryption section, Choose AWS Management Service Key for encryption key type. For Customer Master Key, choose the AWS key that you created. In the Access Policy section, for Choose Method, choose Advanced. Replace the default policy with the policy allows Amazon S3 to send messages to the queue. Choose Create Queue. Amazon SQS creates the queue and displays the queue details page. Now, let's configure an S3 event notification for the bucket. Note that you can't add SQS FIFO queues as a destination for S3 event notifications. Only standard queues are currently supported. After you sign into the AWS Management Console, navigate to the Amazon S3 Console. In the buckets list, select the name of your bucket. Choose the Properties tab. Scroll down to the Event Notifications and choose Create Event Notification. Enter name and choose the event types that you want to receive notifications for. For destination, choose SQSQ. Select the Encrypt SQS queue that you created. Finally, choose Save Changes. The S3 event notification is now configured to send to the encrypted SQS queue using the customer managed KMS key. So now you know how to configure Amazon S3 event notifications for an encrypted Amazon SQS queue that uses SSE encryption with the KMS key. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at LBS.